So we really finna do this shit? We finna risk our lives to rob some motherfucking government killers again? Yep. Hey. Hey, all right. Hey, what's up? Listen up. Here's the plan. Hey, right, Trevor. Yeah? I want you in this position up here. Okay, you're on lookout. Give me a heads up when the armored car comes by. Okay. Yeah? I'm gonna be right here, in the garbage truck blocking the roadway. Franklin, you're in the alley, in a tow truck. Hope is, they pull right up in front of you. When they do, you come at them hard. Bam. Shit, <laughs> here's hoping. Yeah, after the hit, we blast open the doors, grab up all the cash, bonds, whatever it is, I take it to Haynes guy. It's all a little hopeful, homie. As long as I am not on the ground when the shit goes down, okay? When the shit goes down, we'll handle it. You stay up here, on your post, eyes peeled. Yeah. Okay. We'll take the risk. Sound cool? Shit, you the professional, dawg. And at least we're not wearing clown outfits. There's a plus. Right. The masks. What? <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Huh? Real professional. <laughs> Let's do this. Let's go, let's go. All right, cool. I don't know why Franklin, oh no, uh, Trevor laughed like that. I was trying to give Michael a pig mask, and I was trying to give uh, Franklin a different type of mask, and like Trevor just a normal mask. So, um,. Trevor could laugh at them, or, or I don't know. It's because I, when I went to go get the masks, I was playing as Trevor, and I don't know why he still did that during the cutscene. I thought his reaction would be different. But anyways, all right, T, I'm in position. What's the ETA? Just a second. I got a visual on the target. Should be with you any moment. All right, Mike, move it! Get the truck in position. Across both lanes, remember. I'm stopped. You're on, F. Did Public Works change their schedule? Ramus B, bitch! shooting missiles or rockets or whatever. Deal with it. Hey guys, 
What the hell? see these guys or oh, see them die. How did he die? Yeah, stay in cover there. I'll be up here with a rifle. Shit, we ain't gonna clear the area. All right, we hold the cops. Make a play when we see a window. Hey, this gonna be a nasty motherfucker, man. Oh my gosh, no.
I'll deliver the bonds. F, you dump the trash truck. Hey man, shit, you look after yourself, dog, all right? Oh my gosh, how did that not kill me? Ow! I was actually trying to get away from that. You good? Nice work. I'm about to meet this guy. I'll tell you how it goes. Your small faces. Looks like I'm about to go meet Devin Weston. This the most serious FIB agent there all is to come. And also the most um He's like a jerk, from what I remember. Got a package for Devin Weston. Package for Mr. Weston? Come on. Yeah, and I'm telling you that I don't give a flying fuck. <laughs> There you go, there you go. Boom, so long, motherfucker. Devin Weston. Yeah, I remember you. The weekend interrogator. Invest wisely. Hey, hey, hold on, hold on. We're not done here yet. I got a job for you, bro. Five top quality scores, big ticket cars, major payday, bro. Sounds great. I got just the guy for you. I'll put you in touch. No, 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 I don't want just some dude. I want you. I want your crew. I want pros on this. Yeah, I don't give a fuck what you want, pencil neck. I'll let them know you're interested. I guess I just got you figured wrong, man. Hey, what's the figure? Tell me something. You like football? I got a stake in a sports investment venture. You like the market? I got some funds you can manage. Name your poison, man. I just like sitting around watching old movies. Oh, there we go. How about I hook you up? with Solomon Richards. Bullshit. Solomon Richards, the movie producer? Eh, he's retiring, man, and I'm doing a finance deal for his studio. I will make the connect just as soon as you... All right. Oh, man. Solomon Richards. Have a good one, boys. Okay, well, I guess that's mission passed. I got an achievement. Hey, what up, Michael? Hey, man. Listen, I got an interesting opportunity for you. An acquaintance of Dave's. An FIB contact? Are you joking? Relax, the guy's private sector. Very well. Why don't you meet him and see what you think? Alright, yeah, yeah, I'll think about it. Alright, me and Trevor will be there too. I promise you, it's a step up for you. A real Get opportunity. Me. Come on! I'm trying to figure out what those cops are trying to do. Like, if they would pull them over and actually put the NPCs in their car. I'm trying to figure that out. All right, let's see here. Oh man, I have to be Michael and drive all the way out here. I'm gonna call it cab because I do not feel like driving all over the place, to be honest. So I'm just gonna use cabs to fast travel. Who the hell is Molly? Oh, Devin Weston's assistant.
There we go. I like order cab, please. Of course. Driver should be with you soon. Great. Oh, there it is. Let me set a waypoint so I just tap A a bunch. And I'll teleport there. Hey, my man, where you? Hey, we're here. Nice. It looks like Avon's car, but it's just a different color. Mm, what's going on? You're gonna dress up as traffic cops, and you're gonna rob two trust fund kids that I know and dislike intensely. Uh, why? We can get a good price for the vehicles in Asia. Look, complete the work, you'll all be well paid. You're late, sugar tits. Yep. So what's going on? Oh, oh, you finally get to realize your childhood dream and dress up as a cop. Mr. Weston's research team suggests the two boys like to ride on the Sonora Freeway. Sounds manageable. Hey, you two get going. Ooh, let's go, T. Dog, I don't know if this shit is for me, homie. My life's already way the fuck out of control. All right, look. I'm a Darwinist brother, all right? Some prosper and some struggle. Now, are you out of your goddamn mind? This is your lucky break. Choose. Now, are you going to do this, or have you simply found your level in life? I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I guess we will, homie. Out of here. I'm telling you, 2.7 millimeters. Who the fuck does 2.7? Hey, Chase. how about we see which one of you two is for real? So get in your cars and let's see if they move as fast as your mom. Ooh, the fool wants to race us. We were just getting out of here anyway. All right. Oh. What the hell? Oh my gosh. getting in front of me so quick what the heck that does not make any sense can't even knock him off the road, that's kind of funny.
What? Bro, what? Hey, we're coming up now, man. Beat it in a few seconds. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Whatever. Here they come. I'll tell you about that later. They just add, guys, I I really wonder why didn't they add cop bikes to GTA Online? Once we get back on the bike. Okay, I guess I have to. Okay. Alright. Whoa, hey. Stay in the car there, homeboy. I'll deal with you later. Yeah, fuck you too. You know how fast you were going? Gee, I don't know, officer. I uh, try to keep it under the limit. Well, you and your boys look like you were drag racing from where we were sitting there, so uh, why don't you get yourself out of the car? Come on. Officer, officer, is this officer. Entirely necessary? Yes, it is. Get on. Come on. Fucking Hands on the car. Let's go. Come on. Get out of the fucking car. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. What are you doing? Fucking car. All right, we got to make sure. Get out of the fucking car, you pint sized prick. You, you little shit. Get the fuck out of here. Go on. Hey, man, you know how hard it would to try slow enough to stay with these fools? Let's have a real race. You're that Johnson's Johnson. Molly Schultz, Senior Vice President and General Counsel to Devin Weston's Holding Company, if that's what you mean. Ah, oh, keep talking. I'm enjoying this. Let's assume you're talking about the cars. Bring them to Hayes Auto on Little Bighorn in South LS. Mr. Weston and I will meet you there. Don't hang up. I, oh, I think I love you. Hey, the paintwork! Devin's lonely lo says go to Hayes Auto in South LS. So that's where I'll be waiting. We'll see about that. I vote we indulge his childish need to play. Besides, it's his head on the block if they get scratched. Talent prevails. 
That's all I'll say. I kind of want it to be Michael instead of Trevor. Hey, Frank. Yeah, what did I tell you, bro? These cars. Uh, this is an opportunity. Yeah, if you say so. You know what? Right before I met you, I was boosting rise and race. It feels like it come full circle to me. Come on. No, I'm serious. If you hadn't got me fired from my repo job, this is exactly the kind of shit I'd be doing. So thanks, dog. After all the crap we've been through, man, you got me right back where I'll be at anyway. Looks like we're all racing back to the place in these really fast cars. Fantastic. One kid and two old creeps. Who the fuck would have thought it? Gentlemen, move the vehicles. Hey, give me five, five, and five. Oh, hey, chest kiss, homie. Boom! Dog, come on, man. You got the fucking paper? Absolutely. Look, you finish the job, you get the paper. But the order was for five cars. If I'm not mistaken, that's only two. Just give me the fucking money now! Oh, I'm so scared. I really, really am. But you know what? I'm a payment on completion of work type of guy. You don't like the job? Take a fucking walk. Like, right, come on, man. Hold on. So what's next, man? Well, it's the Z type. Chad Mulligan. Lay it on him, kid. Mulligan's a record producer. He's going through a messy divorce. He's hiding his valuable assets, including the car, so that makes it complicated. He'll clock any ground surveillance we run. All we've got to go on is that the car's in a lockup in Howick. So we just go house to house? Not quite. We have access to an LSPD helicopter. The computer on board can ID pedestrians from a chip in their driver's license. Find Mulligan and Howick, follow him to the lockup, someone on the ground collects the car. All right, so who does what? You're not needed for this job. Phillips, you're in the chopper. Clinton, you're on the ground. Yeah, I don't understand the deal between you two. Yeah, well, I don't understand the deal between you two either. But you know what? Life is just one long mystery. Bye bye gentlemen, and stay spiritual. Oh, and Michael, I'll be in touch about your friend, Solomon. All right, good. Oh, there's many more missions that I could do now. Okay, cool. So that's a Devin Weston mission, and uh, what is this? A Solomon? We're gonna do the Solomon one later. I'm gonna switch his Franklin and call a cab over there. Bro, how did I just walk all the way over here that quick? Hey, I need a cab. I'm sending one out right now. Appreciate it. Nice. Ah! Oh, there it is. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, brother, here we are. Put up your hands and stand where I can see you. All right, you got me, homie. All right, you know how to work that face recognition shit already? Well, figure it out. Them, the scanner accesses the database 
and pulls that record. Why don't we see if this thing picks up my man on the ground? Is that dog gonna attack him? Well, actually, no. I don't think it is. Alright, alright, this is it. I'm gonna get the call. 
Well, why are those bus driving? Guys, those buses are driving so freaking recklessly. Helicopter go like a little bit more higher. Side of the garage, on my left, there's a man in a car. This better be him. This better be the guy. Hey, that's the motherfucker. Thank you, Trevor Finn. I know you think this car might be worth something, but it ain't. Whoa, whoa, whoa! It's yours. Total dick. Hey, Molly, right? I got that car for y'all. The Z-Type? Mr. Weston will be glad you caught us. He wanted to see it before we took off. We're on the way to his personal hangar at Los Santos International. I'll tell them to expect you at the gate. All right.
Oh crap. Almost crashed into that tree. I'm supposed to meet Devin Weston here. Mr. Weston's hangar is up there on the left. Oh, there she is. <laughs> you know, if this beauty was a woman, I'd have to break my 20 and under rule. Man, I'll just stick to driving, <laughs> all right? Hey, tell me something. You know how many of these things they made? Uh, shit, like ten? No, not like ten, man. Exactly ten. Oh, wow, man. You one of them type of dudes, huh? Tell you something. How'd you like to drive a car like this one day, man? For real. Like this? Or this? Oh, man. Right back at me, homie. Really nice. Hey, you know something? You're not like those, uh, snowbird retiree pals of yours. You are sharp, man. Man, I'm just looking for a paycheck for my services. No, no, no. Don't worry. It'll come. That'll come. But right now, it is life lesson time, pal. You have got to wake up to what's real in this situation, bro. Take me, right? I am opportunity, I'm security, I'm fast cars, blow jobs, I got the world on a plate. Those two clowns, oh man, they are the worst kind of disaster that can ever come down. They are a full core meltdown, and you're just standing there soaking up major radiation. You have got to take stock, man. Make that call before it's too late. Yeah, all right, man, I will. Before it's too late, man. Yeah, yeah. Just take any car and go. I'm gonna blow them up when they take off. Bro, what? Where'd they go? Where did they go? Oh well. Um, let's see here. What missions do I have? I guess I'm going to do the Solomon one. S switch to Franklin. I do not want to go talk to Lester and help him out with his stuff. I don't want to do that. What the heck, Franklin? Or Michael, I meant. Are you okay? Alright, um... I should give Michael a new haircut. Really though. I feel like this haircut's kind of getting old. Alright, cool. I got a new haircut. Um, shaved off the beard. And we should be go good to go to um Solomon's house. Alright, let's head over there. It's like right around the block. This is so convenient. Here we are. Hello. Come in, come in. Thanks. You must be Michael. 
Yeah. You know, I used to have three secretaries. Now I have to make my own coffee and give myself a happy ending. <laughs> See, the ships are coming in. But the walls will hold us. Nelson in Naples. Pluto? I said Mars, you cocksucker! <laughs> Shoulder of Orion. Two. Devin Weston said you were a fan. Huge fan. Tell me, Michael. Devin Weston. Did he... Does he want you to bump me off? No, not at all. He said you were retiring but might need some help on a movie. Only assholes retire, Michael. Him and my son, they want to put me out to pasture so they can turn this place into condos or a theme park or something. But this place is a dream factory. Well, maybe they have different dreams. Some days, I don't blame them. You know, they always say, never work with children or animals. Well, I want to add to that list. Never work with directors or actors. This picture is gonna kill me. All right, so what's it about? It's perfect. Set in Liberty City. Meltdown. <laughs> it's all being shot on green screen right out back there. We take a look at the financial crisis, and then we boil it all down into a really simplistic battle between two yuppies. With lots of training montages. So what's the problem? Milton McElroy. I cast him in the second lead because he's cheap. Zero talent, incidentally. Well, he's got this new agent, Rocco Pelosi. He's been hassling us about renegotiating the deal. So now, he's holding up shooting until he gets paid. That sounds problematic. It would be if the director wanted to shoot. Anton Baudelaire. Ever heard of him? That doesn't surprise me. Now he's having a mental breakdown, pissing all over himself, who knows where. <sighs> all right. Looks like you got yourself that new assistant. But no happy endings. <laughs> I love you already. <laughs> nice, all right. Let's go pick up whatever this guy needs me to, whatever the heck this guy needs me to do, I don't know. I think he was gonna run out that door. Why did he do that? Come on, come on. Day trip's over, gentlemen. You're going back to set. Oh, who's this? Who's this jackass? Hey, you! Oh, turns out. These guys are in love with their contract. So they'll be going back to the set with me. Can you believe this fucking clown? No! This guy's all mine! <laughs> Does this guy take? All right, spring oh. We're gonna make a new deal. You leave my people alone, and I don't toss you off this roof. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. Sure, man. Sure. All right. Let's get back to the lot. Whoa, whoa, hey! Look, you can bully him, but you can't bully talent, buddy. We are not shooting until I get a new deal. Can't bully talent? Just watch me. You're gonna be a good boy when I'm done. I don't know who you think you are. Jumped up to studio security? I ain't security. I'm Solomon's assistant. 
All right, looks like I have to fly under bridges and do a bunch of crazy stuff. Do like near misses and stuff. You gotta think about this, man. I'm gonna fly in between those trees. And this story is the best kind of art. A simplistic, cliche-ridden pile of dross that you will turn into magic. Get a grip. I love ya. So, Solomon, Milton here has a little something he wants to say to you. Say it. Uh, I, I just, just want to say that I'm sorry for any misunderstanding, sir. And I, I appreciate all the opportunities that, that, that you've given me. Of course, of course. Michael, what can I say? You're a natural. I love you. Well, you're too kind. No, no, I mean it. I don't mean to presume. But would it be okay if I gave you a shout? This shoot seems cursed for some reason or another. I need an associate producer. I'd love that. We'll talk soon. I gotta go. Oh, hell yeah. Nice. Mission passed. All right, let's see here. If there's any more missions that I need to do, not sure. Let's wait for something to pop up. I'm gonna steal this hel helicopter real quick. Just hanged up on that person. I don't even know who that was. Oh, what's this? Martin Madrazo? Okay, I'm gonna go see what this guy wants. Actually, I'm gonna go take a cab. I'm gonna take a cab. Right. Now let's go talk to Martin. What is this? It's a thing. You said you wanted work. This is work. Uh-huh. And who's the guy? You'll see. Yes? Hi. <laughs> oh. Hello. We're looking for Mr. Madrazzo. Patricia, for fuck's sake, just let him in. Right this way, gentlemen. <laughs> Patricia, get us something to drink, would you? Quickly! Hey, good to see you again, Michael. <laughs> Likewise. Uh, this is my friend Trevor. Uh, sit down. Sit, sit, sit. So, what did you tell him about me, about Martin Madrazzo? Martin's an old friend of mine, Trevor. The He's truth. Said. Martin is a terrifying psychopath who tried to kill me. Exactly. Uh, but some people, <laughs> they no longer fear me as much as they used to. People who wear clothes to me. Uh, my cousin, uh, you met in my call. <laughs> well, apparently, he's thinking about testifying against me. So I have him killed. I'm going to. Yeah. By you. Our debt was settled. This is a favor. For a friend. What does friendship mean nothing these days? Ah, uh, hello? What's the deal? This is him. Javier. He's flying off to Liberty City this afternoon. <whistles> and he's taking some files of mine. Innocent files that um, I need back. There's a gun set up in the hills. I have a man watching at the airport. We'll let you know, and when he flies by, shoot him down and get the files back. A man, what's a pay? <laughs> huh? Trevor, come on. You still want a drink? Not now! 
pendeja! ¿Qué no ves que estoy hablando con unas gentes aquí? All right. You grab a vehicle, something versatile. I'll handle the gun. All right. Hey, let's stay in touch on the headsets. All right, cool. I took a cab over here, so... Damn it. There's no car I could use to... How far am I going? Okay, I'm not going too far. All right. Hopefully Trevor don't run me over. Let's take this car, head straight over there. Alright, I see the van with the gun in it. You nearby? Not far out! You make Shoot the plane down and I'll be ready! And that's what happens. If you could see this gun, it might convince you Martin Madrazo ain't someone to be messing with. The fancier the gun, the bigger the pussy who owns it. Now take down the jet! I don't see nothing yet. I got her. Southwest of the city. Gotta shoot in front to compensate for the speed of the jet.
thing, but seriously, bro, coming all the way out here, we gotta get paid. Just do the job. I'll get us paid down the road. Man, we crashed. Oh. Oh. Call the cops. Oh. I'm working with the government. Madrezzo and explain the human cost of this errand. Oh, take it easy, man. Listen to me. We'll talk about that later. I want you to just drop off the files. I gotta get rid of this rifle, then we'll talk. That'd be so cool if I could keep this um, van with the gun inside. That'd be pretty cool. There we go. All right, cool. Now I got to go back to Martin's house. Please don't tell me that car is upside down. Okay, good. Thing that Michael wouldn't do. All right, let's head over straight to Michael's. I know Trevor's house. Oh my goodness, I get these names mixed up.
just happened? Why did he have his car? Man, that piece of turd, huh? No wonder people are stabbing him in the back. What happened? Cheap bastard. You know, I really don't know why you mess around with people like that, Mike. I mean, really, I Turn don't. Him. Answer a fucking question. I asked for a fair day's pay after a fair day's work. Then he kind of got a little angry. So I admit, I kind of got a little angry. Did you kill him? What kind of fucking animal do you take me for? No, I didn't kill him. Oh, fuck. But I did kidnap his wife. Oh, no. Oh, shit. What the fuck did you do? Oh, I just told you what I just did. Now, oh, shit. Uh, unfortunately, I think that we're going to have to lay low for a little while while, you know, we discuss things with Martin. Oh, you think? Why don't you hop in the back? All right, now, Patricia, she already called shotgun. <laughs> now, I know a nice oh, little shit. place we can hang out, you know, it's a, a very relaxing little spot. A little getaway, if you will, a cabin in the woods. You know what I'm saying. Well, guys, um, I'll be back at it again with a part nine. If you guys like part eight, please give the video a big thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Also, do not forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching.